Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom Family Affair. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Family Affair is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of Family Affair. Erin Moran was born in 1960 in the sitcom she plays Amy. In 1970, when she was in the sitcom, she was 10 years old, and sadly she passed away on April 22, 2017, at 56. Um, she doesn't look very happy to me. Go over then, you'll see you're not welcome. Can I have your autograph? And I looked up my dad and went, what's that? I had no idea. I had no clue. Sebastian Cabot was born in 1918 in the sitcom he plays Mr. Giles French. In 1966, when he was in the sitcom, he was 48 and sadly passed away on August 23, 1977, at 59. You see, well then we definitely should lean towards Steak Diane and Celery Victor. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I don't know exactly where I lean. Feeling, you know, I've been in a strange town and uh, all of a sudden I want to go somewhere and I say, right now, if I turn left down this corner, there'll be... Brian Keith was born in 1921 in the sitcom he plays Uncle Bill Davis. In 1966, when he was in the sitcom, he was 45 and sadly passed away on June 24th, 1997 at 75. We used to discuss the subject. Mm, that, that doesn't settle it, you know, they're gonna hit you with it again sooner or later. Well, then let us only hope that we can make it as late as possible, sir, perhaps. So they got a new studio head came in and he was gonna make a clean sweep and save a lot of money and get rid of the deadwood. So he called the two guys in and he said... Sherry Alberoni was born in 1946 in the sitcom she plays Sharon James. In 1966, when she was in the sitcom, she was 20 years old and now she's 77. Not very. Why? Mr. Davis, in my opinion, well, Sissy needs her uncle's strong shoulder to lean on. <laughs> well, I have a little baby sister at home who can play the trumpet and do a tap dance at the same time. <laughs> so the next day I went down there and I played my trumpet, did my tap dance and almost knocked all my teeth out, but I got the... Johnny Whittaker was born in 1959 in the sitcom he plays Jonathan Patterson Davis. In 1966, when he was in the sitcom, he was seven years old, and now he's 64. Hi, hi, kids. What's new in your world, huh? I met a boy in the park today. His name is Andy. Andy? He never mentioned... And because of the little boy, the fight is over. Now it's everybody to save this little boy. Kathy Garver was born in 1945 in the sitcom she plays Catherine Patterson Davis. In 1966, when she was in the sitcom, she was 21, and now she's 78. Jody? Jody? He can't hear you when he's wearing his helmet. <laughs> uh, and going on to a, a future adventure and getting out of town, basically. And I had this little lamb in my in my arms mm -hmm. and Anissa Jones was born in 1958 in the sitcom she plays Buffy Davis. In 1966, when she was in the sitcom, she was eight years old and sadly she passed away on August 18, 1976 at the age of 18. Five, 46, 47, 40. Buffy, what are you doing? Can't see my- In women's liberation? No. Do you know about it? Yeah. What do you know about it? They don't want to stay at home and cook. They want to go out and work. Heather Angel was born in 1909 in the sitcom she plays Miss Faversham. In 1966, when she was in the sitcom, she was 57, and sadly she passed away on December 30th, 1986, at the age of 77. Oh, St. James's Park. The lilac and white roses must be very beautiful in both the... Kent and Sussex. I agree. <laughs> Laurie Main was born in 1922 in the sitcom he plays Mr. Edgman. In 1968, when he was in the sitcom, he was 46 
and sadly passed away on February 8, 2012, at the age of 89. Oh, a few bob on uh, crown and pickle might be money well spent. Crown and pickle? Yes. Oh, well, not for a horse, old boy. Oh. John Williams was born in 1903 in the sitcom he plays Nigel French. In 1967, when he was in a sitcom, he was 64 and sadly passed away on May 5th, 1983, at the age of 80. Mr. Friend, Mr. Your Friend. uncle sends his heartiest congratulations and asks us to say he's very proud of your being promoted to upper first grade. Joan Voss was born in 1927 in the sitcom she played Miss Cummings. In 1966, when she was in the sitcom, she was 39 and sadly she passed away on June 4th, 2001, at 73. My, I didn't know you had such a good view of my terrace from here. I'm gonna have to be more careful. <laughs> good evening, may I take your stone, Miss? John Hubbard was born in 1914 in the sitcom he plays Ted Gaynor. In 1966, when he was in the sitcom, he was 52 and sadly passed away on November 6, 1988, at the age of 74. I'll do the best I can, but uh, how do you tell Kabul and company that Davis of Davis and Gaynor is going to escort his 15-year-old niece to Carl Lucas was born in 1919 in the sitcom he plays Scotty. In 1966, when he was in the sitcom, he was 47 years old and sadly passed away on January 16, 1995 at 75. Moa traveling, I envy you. Well, I'll tell you a secret, Scotty. No matter where I am, I can't wait to get back home. That's the way it is when you have a family. Yes. When we reflect on the incredible journey of family affair that took place between 1966 and 1971, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years have left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.